this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. That was a very excited intro, wasn't it there, Mittens? <laughs> you saw her there jumping up on top of the bed. <laughs> this is, of course, a video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And in this video, I am, of course, being joined by Mittens. How are you doing today, Mittens? Are you doing good? Oh, gosh, she doesn't sound very happy. Did you hear that? That wasn't a purr. That was more of a growl. I'm, I'm sorry, Mittens. I'll leave you alone. I'll give you some space. I think she wants her own room. I think that's, that's uh, what it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm also being joined by Elfa Lee. Oh, <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? Why is everyone not happy with me? He just tosses the cake out. Doesn't even bother giving it to me. Well, tell you what. Should we be civilized and should we go eat this at the table then, shall we? Should we go eat it in the kitchen? I actually think there might already be just a cake sitting in the kitchen. Just that's been left there forever. So yeah, if there is, we can get rid of that one yeah there we go this is an old moldy cake so uh, we get rid of that one. Oh, sorry lee i think lee wanted to eat it and look, there we go we put down a nice fresh new tasty cake <gasps> num 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 there we go lee you can have the uh, the rest of that thank you very much for my breakfast <laughs> actually there's something that i didn't show you um the uh, the bathroom uh, which oh says transport station we need to change this for starters uh, let me change this to bathroom. Um, I added the uh, the litter box, which um, I kept forgetting the uh, the name of in my last video, but uh, my video a few uh, videos ago, my bath time one. Uh, but yeah, this is now bathroom, and yeah, I added my my little litter box down in the corner. There's Lee having his morning shower, and here here's the little litter box where uh, me and Mittens have to go to do our <clears throat> our, our business. <laughs> and then of course afterwards, uh, you got to go and wash your paws just like that, just to make sure you're nice and cleansy and clean. And there's our our toilet down there with our all automatic toilet seat opener. <laughs> anyway, let's not waste some time because uh, we do have uh, something to build uh, in this video and uh, it's hopefully uh, something that you're all going to enjoy. I'm certainly uh, looking forward to building it and you're going to find out what it is in a minute uh, if you haven't seen by the title of the video anyway. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to add someone to my love garden and today I am adding two people, uh, Mad Gamer Girl and Xbox Gaming. And uh, that's because of a video they sent me uh, of a song that they made up. And it was basically like, we wish you a Merry Christmas, that song. Uh, but they changed the lyrics and they kind of stampified them all. They uh, made them so they're all about my lovely world and my friends and stuff. So it's, uh, instead of we wish you a Merry Christmas, it's uh, we wish you a Merry Squidmas and a Stampy New Year. And uh, they changed all the lyrics and they also uh, did pictures for it all. Where they illustrated the entire thing and I thought it was really cool, it was really nice of them. And so yeah, I wanted to add them both to my love garden. And if you wanted to see their video, uh, I'll be leaving it as a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. And I definitely recommend you do so. But first, uh, I'm going to decide which dog I'm going to take with me. Actually, I am not going to decide which dog I'm going to take with me. Mittens, you can decide which dog I should take with me. And Duncan again! Every single time I say to pick a dog, she picks Duncan. I do think there's something going on there. I don't know, do you think they're just friends or I don't know maybe there's some sort of love blossoming between them I, I probably shouldn't talk about it in front of them because I know they they do both get very embarrassed but who knows uh, so I guess once again as uh, so I've been saying this a lot recently but yeah I'm going to be joined uh, by Mittens and Duncan uh, anyway I should probably explain uh, what it is I'm going to be building and keeping uh, with the uh, the Christmas theme because it is starting uh, to get very close to Christmas uh, we're going to be building my first uh, Christmassy ride in my Funland, and I decided to build a reindeer rodeo and it's going to be like a normal rodeo uh, where you'd normally like jump on like a ball or a horse or something and it's going to try and knock you off but instead it's going to be a reindeer and uh, the way we're going to do it is by having a piston uh, which is linked up to a lever and then it's going to be pushing up a block and then on the block we're going to put a boat and uh, if you sit in the boat uh, you can kind of get knocked off uh, but you can sort of kind of control it uh, even though you're on land and uh, boats are designed to be in water. So yeah, uh, we're going to be building a reindeer rodeo. So in this episode, uh, I'm basically going to be building the reindeer. And it's going to be very small. Uh, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I've said this a lot, but I'm hoping uh, to get the entire ride finished in this video. And I probably shouldn't uh, have wasted loads of time at the beginning of the video because I'm probably not going to have much time. And also, I should have mentioned who else is going to be in the video. Can you see who that person is up there? It's Longbow! He's there hanging out uh, on top of the uh, the rainbow here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how you're going to get down from there, Longbow, but I'm sure you can uh, do something nice and inventive. Oh, just just jump off. Just jump straight off. <laughs> he didn't even bend his knees. That's very dangerous. <laughs> uh, but he's actually marked uh, where we're going to be building. Uh, this whole patch of grass here, 
Uh, we're going to change this uh, all into snow uh, because seeing as this is a, uh, a very Christmassy ride, uh, we thought it would be a, a good idea to just to make the whole place look Christmassy. Uh, so we've got to get rid of all of this grass here and replace it with snow. And look at their mittens and Duncan. Look, they always like go and walk around together. And oh, Duncan, be careful. Oh, where is he? Well, let me just run back. Let me make sure he teleports out of there. Please, Duncan, please do not die. Right, okay, you tell you what, you guys. You two can sit over here. And you can behave and you can just relax and sit down together underneath the rainbow. There we go. Like they can be sit next to each other uh, so they won't get bored and they, they can watch us build. That's what cats like to do. They never like doing hard work. They're just normally lazy sitting around and having fun. And <laughs> I should know that being a, being a cat myself. So, oh yeah, we just need to get rid of all of this grass. Uh, then I'm going to go through and replace it with snow. And uh, we're going to properly Christmify it. Uh, we're going to have like uh, candy canes and uh, maybe some presents and all sorts of stuff. And then I'm going to build a big reindeer with a big red nose. Is Rudolph style and yeah the idea of the game is you've got to see who can sit on top of the reindeer uh, for the longest and so yeah it should be jolly good fun I love Longbow's method there of destroying the dirt from underneath is that really the safest way I don't know I think I think he's trying to find the most inventive way to kill himself in this episode here by jumping off things and staying underwater uh, but anyway let's go and start uh, placing down uh, all of the uh, the snow then and uh, there's going to be a, a fence around the entire area just so the reindeer doesn't escape <laughs> I don't know and yeah, that's pretty much what the game's going to be. And it's going to be so, so simple. And I say this every single time, uh, but I promise you the redstone is basically a trail of redstone leading from the piston to the lever. And that is it. That is how simple this game is. And we did uh, a little mock-up uh, by just putting down a piston and putting a, a boat on it. And just seeing people bouncing up and down is probably uh, the most hilarious thing in the world. So I'm um, definitely uh, really looking forward to doing this. Um, I've pretty much run out of snow already, but I think that... Uh, Longbow and Lee have, might have some, some more snow if they want to go and uh, carry on placing it down there. And yeah, once they've uh, put a bit more snow down on the floor, I might start doing the uh, the the reindeer. Have you got any more snow that you can throw me, Lee? Let me try and hop, try and jump up over to you. Have you got any any spare snow that I can go and uh, carry on placing down there? Oh, jolly good. It's like a, a whole nother stack here. It's really easy to get snow because uh, I've got two snow golems in my world. i got uh, Henry and Norman. And so yeah, whenever I want some snow, I can just uh, go around with a shovel behind them and just pick up everything they drop and uh, yeah it makes a, a very effective way to go and uh, get huge amounts of snow very easily so the idea is this is going to be uh, way, where the reindeer is uh, over on this left side here and then on the other side where the piston's going to be uh, just to make sure you've got room to, to see if the other person's uh, going to fall off and there is actually a little bit of skill to it there's a little bit of uh, technique uh, in order to be able to uh, to push people off better uh, but I'm not going to reveal it now because I'm going to have a game against Lee and Longbow I don't want, I don't want them to know all of my, my little secrets in order uh, for me to be able to win <laughs> anyway let's go and start building the, uh, the reindeer so um, obviously just going to use some brown wool and uh, I think I'm going to have the the front of him probably about probably around here yeah probably about three blocks away from the side and this is uh, where his face is going to be so as you're walking down the path you're going to go and uh, stare right into the other uh, reindeer's face so as I said he's going to be very small uh, his legs are only going to be two blocks high and uh, this is where his face is going to be and uh, actually before I do that I'm going to do his body and uh, that is going to be uh, I think three blocks along uh, so one uh, two, three, and I just filled all of this in like that, and uh, at the moment he's got no back legs, so I'm not entirely sure how he's standing up, but I'll add them in a little bit later, and this is where his face is going to be, so uh, his head's going to go to here, it will have two nice little ears, and then if I hop down, he's obviously going to have his nice big uh, bright red uh, nose, just so he can guide Santa's sleigh, and then at the back, I'm going to go and add in two little legs, and that is almost it. That is pretty much how the reindeer is going to be. Uh, he, of course, needs some peepers. He, he needs some eyes just so uh, he can see where he's going through the snow. So I'm just going to use uh, some item frames, and then, whoa, that is a very bulbous eye he's got there. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. Oh, no, look, look at his eyes. Look what I've done with his eyes. <laughs> that is not what they were meant to look like. I could do this, actually. Um, this isn't how it's going to end up being, but... Uh, this might look uh, just rather amusing. If I do, uh, actually, yeah, if I do white uh, there and on there, there we go. Look at his eyes. It's like a really big, massive cartoon character or something. <laughs> right, okay, let me try and grab up my item frames again. And let's try and do these these eyes properly. The idea is that I put the black wall inside of the uh, of, of the uh, the item frames. And then it looks like he's got like nice little normal size peepers. But uh, yeah, that didn't quite go to plan. So have I got two item frames? I think the other one was up on the top up here still. So yeah, there we go. I can grab that. And let me try and place it more carefully, shall we? So 
right in the middle and boom there we go that's a a more normal size die there we go on the other one as well so i'm gonna get my shears out and i'm gonna go and dig my way down here and there we go the only thing that's obviously missing is the antlers and uh, the way i'm gonna do the antlers is just by using uh, i think fences and gates and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to do a little bit of improvisation. Uh, so I'm going to go and put down a crafting table in the corner. And I'm just going to go and make a, a whole load of sticks. And then uh, make some planks as well. And more sticks and planks and sticks and planks and sticks for days. Uh, then I'm going to make uh, two gates and a, a whole load of fences. That should uh, just about be enough. And then... I'm going to hop up uh, onto the, the back of my reindeer. Uh, hopefully he's not going to mind. Don't mind me. Just going <laughs> to quickly hop up here. And then I'm going to go and add them on. And I don't want them to be coming from the back. Uh, because otherwise it's going to be getting in the, the way of the game. So I'm going to uh, start them coming from about here. I'm just going to uh, put down some torches as well. Because it's starting to get a bit dark. And whoa, I got <laughs> way more. What? A stack of fences. I think I had like exactly the right amount. But here we go. I've got a spare stack. Just in case I want absolutely massive antlers. Just <laughs> stretching from here to the edge of the fun land. Uh, so yeah, they can go up out to about... Here, I think, maybe. I want them to be quite big. I kind of want them to be a bit more over-exaggerated and bigger than they would be in real life. Just because, yeah, it doesn't matter about being realistic. I just want it to be, I want it to look cool. So, actually, I, I might have a gate there. If I go, right, I'm going to have to add in the gate afterwards. Because you need to place the gate on something. But if the fences kind of go like that. Then at the end, I'm going to change that from a gate. I think this one should look okay. I'm just going to go and uh, do the same on this side. So if I just pile along here a little bit and uh, hop up, I should be able to place it down. So it went like that, I think. Then that. And then I need to go out a little bit more. Then I think it went like that. Went up one. Was that right? Actually, I think... Hmm, I think this might be about right. I think that then goes to there. And then if I get rid of that bottom one... Oh, that should be just... Oh, no, that, that's not right, is it? Let me go and have a look at this side again. What, what have I done? Uh, so it goes one, two, three, four out, then up and left. So one, two, three... Oh, God, nearly fall off there. <laughs> four across, then up and... Oh, no, it was the same. I think I had actually done it okay. I just... I don't know. I just didn't look quite right. So uh, let me go get rid of some of this uh, cobblestone, uh, just because I'm making an absolutely massive mess all over the place. Then all I'm going to do is change... Um, yeah, these fences here into gates uh, just to make them them look a little bit different. So, if, excuse me one secondly. Uh, I need to go up to here and then uh, if I... I need to leave that block there. Let me go get my axe out. I need to get rid of that and then I'll plonk a gate there instead uh, just to, to go and make it look a, a little bit different. And then, yeah, I'm just going to go and uh, do the, the same on the other side. And then that's going to be my reindeer done. And then the only thing I need to do uh, is add in the, the mechanism side. And the way I'm going to try and cover up the redstone is by doing it as if he's got like a like a saddle on. As if you've like jumped up on the on the saddle of the reindeer is the, uh, the way I'm going to kind of try and make it work. So I'll show you uh, how I do that in a second. I probably shouldn't use cobblestone to like pile up uh, just because it takes longer to get destroyed. But oh well, uh, I make the most out of what I've got. So I put the gate in there get rid of that and now I can go and put the the saddle on my reindeer so all I'm going to use uh, is oak blocks and uh, some oak half slabs as well and I'm going to show you uh, why I need them in just one minute and then the piston uh, which I've got on me is just going to go uh, right in the in the very middle of that so uh, let me once again oh gosh yeah, I forgot something else I forgot something very important he needs a tail I've got to give my reindeer a tail as well I totally forgot about that so I'm going to use some some brown and black wool like that and there we go I have now built a reindeer I kind of like it it looks pretty cute doesn't it it's kind of hard to see from inside here. Here we go. If I go out here, look at my reindeer. Look at the size of its antlers. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but I still think it looks pretty awesome. I like it. What do you reckon, Lee? Thumbs up from Lee? Yeah, thumbs up from Lee. Lee approves. You can put down a sign on it if you want that says Lee approves. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do um, a makeshift little staircase here so I can get up and down. And uh, I'm going to go and do the, yeah, do the, the saddle on the back. So there's going to be half slabs all the way around here. And in the very middle, uh, this is going to be where the sticky piston's going to go. So I'm going to plonk that down there and then put some oak planks on top of it. And then this is where you place the boat. So there'll be a boat on here and that piston's going to be going up and down and up and down and knocking you all over the place. And if you get pushed off the side and land here, that's going to be you out of the game. So uh, all I need to do now uh, is go and try and link up the redstones. This is going to be the hardest bit. Something I didn't realise until just now is that there's water underneath the entire area. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to go and try and get rid of that. But the way the redstone is going to work is I'm going to go and make myself a redstone torch, which is here. And uh, the redstone torch is going to go underneath and you should hear the piston lift up. 
There we go, the piston lifted up and then there's going to be redstone. It will be going uh, under the ground in the final version. But for now, I'm just going to do like a simple trail along like this. And then at the end, there's going to be a lever. So I'm just going to put down some snow and uh, I'm going to go and hop over here and make a lever very quickly. And then hopefully... Uh, when I switch that lever back and forth, it should lift that piston up and down. And uh, whoever's sitting on top of it is going to be bumped up and down all over the place like crazy. There we go. There we go. It seems to be working. So uh, should we light up the area a little bit? Should we go and uh, plonk down some more torches over the place just so we can see what we're doing? Oh, can you see that creeper? Can you see that creeper in the distance? Right, I'm going to try out my bow. This is the bow I made in the last video. And uh, it's got like power four and infinity, which means I will not run out of arrows. And I should stop talking about it and start shooting with it because <laughs> it was starting to get dangerously close then it's pretty good though two shots two shots to take out a creeper and i am never ever gonna run out of arrows on it i mean it is gonna break eventually but it's still pretty awesome uh, but anyway this is this is the game almost how it's gonna be uh, all we need to do is uh, hide some of the the redstone i think lee's hopping up are you are you gonna be the the first test dummy lee so uh, all you need to do is oh look there's another creeper up there here we go let me just take out this guy yeah all you need to do lee if you craft a boat and then you place it down on there and plonk it and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and try and take out this creeper. I can kind of see him. There we go. I hit him. I saw the tiniest little bit of his forehead and I was still able to, to go and take him out. But anyway, let's go make uh, Lee a quick boat. It should be somewhere around here. There we go. Uh, there's a few boats for you here, Lee. So if you go and uh, plonk that down on the top and uh, take a seat down, we'll have a little test to go. And uh, what I might also do is uh, make some ladders and uh, put them on the side here. And uh, not so you can get up or anything, just to kind of make it look like... Uh, that's where you put your feet in, you know, on the saddle. Oh, look, there's a whole massive ladder up here as well. <laughs> that kind of makes it easier for getting up and down. Okay, you ready, Lee? Oh, he's falling off already. Oh, God, there's another creeper. There's another creeper, right. <laughs> I'm getting some good aim here. Oh, look at that one shot, and he is taken down. <laughs> Sorry, Lee, you're a little bit too late there. Right, you want to hop on and sit in a boat, and then you've got to try and see how long you can stay on, and I'm going to switch the lever uh, to try and go and knock him up. There we go, he's in position. Oh, he's sliding already. Right, I'm going to start off slowly. Normally with these mechanical rodeos, they start slow and then they gradually get harder. And oh, he's off already. He is out already. Did the, did the boat broke? No, he just got knocked off. That was shamefully. That was embarrassing. Right, Longbow, you're up. So you need to go on the boat. And if you push in a direction, you can kind of uh, slightly guide it. Uh, to where you need to go. So let me just plonk that back down for you so you can uh, get in position. It might be easier to jump on the reindeer's head. Um, yeah, sorry about this reindeer. I don't want to mess up your antlers or your hair. Uh, yeah, if you jump on his head and then... Uh, not, not over there. You don't have to jump on the antlers. You don't have to get a running start. <laughs> yeah, if you stand on the head, then place the boat down. Uh, then hop in and try and get right in the middle. And you've got to see if you can stay on for longer than... What was that, like five seconds? <laughs> so yeah, you should be able to do good here, Longbow. Right, once again... I'm going to be fair. I'm going to start off slowly. Just a little, little, little baby bumps. He's as easy as baby bumps. Oh, he's falling off already. He's falling off already, though. And it's getting faster. It's getting faster. And he's... Oh, no, he's still on. He's just about still on. Just the very corner of the boat. And he's off again. <laughs> so far, I think Longbow's the winner. I wasn't actually timing it. But you did pretty well there, Longbow. You did pretty well. Anyway, it's my turn. I am going to go and uh, jump up into the saddle and have my go. So be fair, Lee. I did start off slowly with you and then speed up. I didn't go crazy at the beginning. Right, let me just go and hop up here. I'm going to place down my boat. Try and get it just in the middle. There we go. That was good. Right, okay. Now I need to stay. Oh, I'm falling off already. It hasn't even started. I'm falling off. Right, I'm holding forward as much as I can. Whenever you're ready, Lee, start. Oh, please start soon because I'm falling off already. Here we go. Right, I've got to just keep holding forward. You can very slightly move where you go. Lee, don't go crazy. Oh, he's pushing me through it. <laughs> that wasn't fair. I didn't go crazy on you. Oh, my God. I'm staying on, though. Despite me going crazy and getting killed, I'm managing to just about stay on the reindeer. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm falling off there. I think I'm falling off. I'm still just about on. Only just on. He's going crazy and I am off. And I am off the rodeo. What do you reckon? I wasn't timing that. I think that was I think that was pretty close between me and Longbow, to be fair. Oh, no, he's left. <laughs> I think Longbow rage quit because he thought that he lost. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, that's the game. That is the game in a nutshell. That's what it's going to be. It's very simple. Uh, it's quite cute, uh, but I enjoy it. I think it's uh, quite a fun little silly game. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the area a bit. Uh, we're going to maybe do uh, like a few more piles of snow and cover up the redstone. And uh, yeah, as I said, sort of Christmasify it, Christmassy it. Christmas, whatever we're going to do. We're going to make this place look more Christmassy and festive. And then in the next video, we're going to come back and have a proper game. We're also going to have another game of uh, what goes up. 
uh, because we had a very brief game in my last video and I feel like uh, we didn't do the game justice. So we're going to have another game with that. And then we're going to head over here, uh, over to uh, It's a Lovely World After All, uh, where I'm going to have the uh, the first game, uh, the first, well, ride uh, of the uh, the ride when it's all working uh, with all of the, uh, the music and everything. So yeah, my next video, I'm just going to be playing all video and they are my favourite type of video. So hopefully you're all going to enjoy that. But before we go, I've got time to take out one last smelly creeper. There we go. <laughs> I've killed quite a lot this video. Anyway, that is the end of it here. A big thank you to uh, Longbow and Lee for uh, helping me out building my reindeer rodeo. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and will join me in the next one. Bye!